What's up, YouTube world? My name is Kevin McLeod, and welcome to another episode of The Man That Never Walked In. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Your goal, your destiny, your dream. You see, I am an author, and I am a music producer. So, I've had, I have albums on iTunes, and I also have books on Amazon. And you know what? When I first started, I said, man... Okay, I'm hype. I'm excited. Like, yes, I got albums on iTunes. Yes, I got books on Amazon. Yes, people gonna buy it. And then people didn't buy it. And I became so discouraged. Like, man, what, what's going on? Like, I'm passing out all these business cards. I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing speeches. I'm emailing people on social media. Why aren't people buying my book? And a couple of people have bought them, but it's not where I want it to be. You know, I want my book to be on this pedestal. Like, I'm a million copies honestly you know so i became confused like what's going on and i panicked and you know what ever since that happened when people weren't buying my books like how i wanted them to buy it i became doubtful you know i didn't grab my dreams it was like man you know this ain't working <laughs> and i tr i said you know what let me try this career or maybe 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 this career is for me maybe this maybe that and you know i became just so confused about who I was as a person, you know. Like for me, I just love I love poetry, you know. I love writing poetry and I love making music. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I gave the whole writing stories a try, you know, my book, The Man That Never Walked In, which is available on Amazon. I Like, that was the only book I ever, I needed to write. You know, it's my story, my life, the things I've been through. You know, me having low self-esteem, being depressed, being picked on as a kid. Like, it's just so much in that book. When I wrote all that, it's like, okay, you know what? Like, man, this was therapy on paper. <laughs> For me, you know, why? I didn't have an interest to write any more books. It's just that autobiography was the one thing I wanted to write. But I said, you know, I want to keep writing. You know, I want kids to keep I want them to keep reading, but I want to challenge their mind. So I start, I started Poetry Mindset. You know, I have two books on Amazon right now. So I wanted to really get into their heads. You know, when you read my poetry, like, man, what is he saying? Like, what does this mean? But it makes you think and it makes you smarter. You know, I can write motivational books. I can do the whole nine yards while I'm writing book series about this woman that slept with this man. You know, sex, sex sells, but that's not me. You know, I want to write stuff that challenges you. When you look at it, you're like, man, what is what is this? But it's just so amazing when you read it. You know, it grabs your interest from beginning to end. And so I have these two things that I love. And I'm just like, man, ah, like, this ain't working. My album's on iTunes. People not buying my book on Amazon. What is going on? What, 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 what? And God spoke to me. He said, son, grab it. I was like, well, God, what do you mean? You know, grab that dream. You know, it's right there in front of you. You got to grab it. Like this weekend, I'm already receiving it. I'm grabbing. This weekend will be one of the most successful weekends in my entire life. Like I will be successful. People are going to buy my book, my books this weekend. People are going to buy my albums this weekend. I receive it. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to believe it. I'm going to believe it because... When will you believe it? Oh, it'll come to pass a year from now or a couple of days. No, you need to grab your dream today, right now. Grab it. <laughs> grab it. You know, if you're not in school, but you want to be in school, grab it. Call them. Call everybody. See what you got to do. See the process you need to go through. If you're a musician, you need to be in the studio right now recording. Grab it. You Matter of fact, it's not about making a hit song in a couple of days. Today, we're going to make a hit record. <laughs> we're going to spend 12, 14, even 24 hours, whatever it takes, because I need to grab my dream today. Today, today, today. Because if I don't grab it today, somebody else could grab it tomorrow. And that's just something for y'all to think about. Grab your dreams. Grab it, grab it, grab it. And I wasn't grabbing. I was afraid to grab because I was afraid that if I would grab, I would grab nothing. Like, man, my dream is right there. Let me grab. Oh, no, it's not there. I didn't believe. But you know, I grab it. I grab my dream. I grab my goal. This weekend, this weekend, <laughs> I will be successful. I will not be defeated. You know, because I know God has, he has something planned for me. And I know he has something planned. If he has something planned for me, he has something planned for you. So, man, it's really cold out here. <laughs> um, currently in Sumter, South Carolina, for the people that 
don't know. But, you know, it's just something for you guys to think about. I may not know you, but I love you all. As my favorite quote goes, God is love and love is God. Thank you.